We have to share these ideas, because if we don't, then the world doesn't move forward. We don't innovate, and we don't create. And the last most important stage, I keep saying that, um, is the stage of testing and criticism, or when we share things. When we bring them into the world, in the world of science it's testing, in art and criticism, in the real world it's just sharing, and asking what people think, and not being afraid whether people like it or they don't like it, whether you've made something that's wonderful, or in the Theotetus what they call a windeg, which is a philosophical uh, platonic word for a fart, um, they call it a windeg, <laughs> sounds better in the Greek. But this idea of bringing things into the world is really important and very critical. So I sort of want to kind of go back over these to make sure we understand everything. There's seven stages in this creative process, and these stages do not come in any particular order. But you have to learn to recognize these stages. The more that you recognize them, the more that you'll be able to enter in and out of them fluidly. So it's not like you start in one, and now I'm going to two, and now I'm going to three. But allow yourself to maybe journal and keep track of when you're in the state of research, when you're in the state of gestation. I have my students write down the feeling states that happen while they're around it. How do you emotionally feel when you get a great idea, or when you pop into an idea, or when you've researched so much your brain is just exhausted? Keep track of those feelings. The other thing is that when you're in these states, and especially the fifth state, these little eureka moments, capture these ideas. Don't think that they're worthless. I've had some really crazy ideas. I was in um, Chicago 15 years ago at, um, oh, which university was it? The Chicago Institute of Technology, and this German doctor, Professor Epps, called me upstairs because they were going to hire their first artist. And he goes, why would we hire an artist? What can you invent or imagine? And I said, I don't know, what about a cell phone data projector? Now, this is way before we had the technology. And he said, absolutely impossible. That's a dumb idea. It can get that small, the battery power, blah, 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 blah. When the first white paper was released by this, and by the way, I wrote the idea down and sent it to Nokia, Samsung. I'm not taking credit for it. But I sent that idea out into the world. Um, but when the first white paper came out, I sent it to Dr. Epps. And I said, crazy idea, huh? Um, these ideas are really important that we have. And we don't know how valid they are or how invalid. But what is important is to know to keep them, to make them, and to share them. So I ask you before I leave, the most important thing that you take away from this talk is to value your ideas and be fearless in your ability to bring them in the world and make them and share them with one another. Thank you very much. We have to share these ideas, because if we don't, then the world doesn't move forward. We don't innovate, and we don't create. And the last most important stage, I keep saying that, um, is the stage of testing and criticism, or when we share things. When we bring them into the world, in the world of science it's testing, in art and criticism, in the real world it's just sharing, and asking what people think, and not being afraid whether people like it or they don't like it, whether you've made something that's wonderful or in the Theotetus what they call a windeg, which is a philosophical uh, platonic word for a fart. Um, they call it a windeg. <laughs> sounds better in the Greek. But this idea of bringing things into the world is really important and very critical. So I sort of want to kind of go back over these to make sure we understand everything. There's seven stages in this